Well, hey gang, how you doing? This is Will Moore, your host with Somewhere in America. And here we are again with another lighting, lights, lighting series episode. And on today, um, we're going to do something in, in the way of a dramatic uh, black and white. Now, one of the key things you want to know about this is that I'm going to be shooting with just this right here. This is going to be my only light source. And you're gonna, and you, when when you see it, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be able to get. Um, it's gonna look like a couple of lights, speed lights or strobes have been added, but everything is gonna be done with one speed light, or actually one so speed light, one strobe, which is the Godox uh, AD100 Pro. And I'm telling you, it's a little, it's a fantastic little strobe. It's been doing great. And I'm gonna be using this foam core that's in the middle, so that when the light spews out. It'll go around outside, and what's going to happen is that you're going to see this, this darkness um, that'll be in the middle of my subject. But I'm going, to show you, it's going to, I'm going to show you how to create a dramatic black and white with just using one strobe, or you can use a speed light and this type of softbox. So let's go ahead and get my model in, and let's get shooting. Okay, guys, so here, I got a model in and get started shooting. What I'm going to be doing is that, um, as you guys remember this young man, I mean, he was a young tyke and now he's now older. This is my son, Justin, and I'm telling you, he's gotten so big. He's, he's my go-to model and he's just fantastic. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with the shooting. What you're going to notice is that you're going to see light on his face, on his a rim light here in his face. He's going to see some in his back. This one strobe, the Godox 8100 Pro is going to act with just a soft box right here, it's going to act as if it's as if you have two speed lights or two strobes coming from two different directions. Now, what you're going to see if I take the picture, you're going to see some, you're going to see the, the, the him in silhouette, and you'll see some darkness. We're going to take care of that, and I'm going to show you just how we're going to do that. It's going to be a real quick segment on doing a dramatic black and white portrait, and I want you guys to hang tight. So let's go ahead and get started shooting. So here we go. We got our we got our subject right here. And Justin is in the frame. All right, just go ahead and bring your chin down a little bit. Perfect, right there. And kind of bring your head more towards me a little bit. Turn more right there. Um, okay, he's going, that's right. There we go. He's going to take off his glasses. All right, I like that look right there. One, two, three. Oh, wow. See, as you can see, you'll see that he has a nice little rim look and, and that he has light hitting here. On, his, on the side of his face and he has light coming from the back. It's acting as if it's two strobes or two speed lights at one time. Let's go ahead and get another shot real quick. Jay, go ahead and turn your back towards me. Back, turn your back totally towards me. Right there. Looking over his shoulder. Perfect right there. All right, one, two, three. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's looking really, really, really nice. Looking really nice right there. Go ahead, Jay, turn, look, face me. Go ahead and face the camera. All right, let's stay right there in the center. Go ahead and face it more. Face me more. There you go, straight right there. There you go. One, two, three. Wow. If you notice, you see that light, that rim light on the side of his face is just, I mean, it's just caressing him. Now, if I was doing, uh, I want to make sure I'm getting the sound here again. If I'm doing um, like a beauty, a beauty look, I would probably have a light that would be overhead over him, or I could use something inexpensive like this white foam core board that I'm getting ready to use right now. All right, so I'm going to have him turn just like that, and I'm going to bring this in to get more light on this side of his face and, and have that light to kind of wrap around him a little bit more. So I'm going to bring it as close as possible. And what's going to happen is that the, uh, the, the light is going to hit and bounce off of this foam core board and it's going to wrap around him real nicely. So Jay, turn your head more towards this way. Follow my finger right there. And we're going to, and the light is going to actually hit him right here. So look this way, look straight out this way, look right past this board. There you go. And one, two, three. 
Oh, that is fantastic. I like what I'm seeing. That is a nice dramatic portrait. Now, that's being shot straight out of the camera, but if you notice, um, you'll see straight out of the camera and you're gonna also see an edited version. So, hey guys, that's all I have right there on just doing dramatic portraits and you can do these any kind of way you want. And one of the things about that, I want you to, a key takeaway uh, for this is that whenever I shoot in black and white, I always have my, when I'm shooting black and whites, I have my camera set up in black and white as well as my tethering right here on, in Lightroom to be, to come out in high contrast black and white so that I can get some, I can see exactly what I'm doing and I know exactly what I'm doing. I keep my Kelvin at about 5600 because we still want to retain the color images as well to be able to, you know, to be able to show, see what it looks like when it comes into raw, be able to look like in also color. So you never know how you want to do it, but we, I always like to shoot in black and white so that I get an idea of what I'm seeing. Other than that, guys, hey, I hope you really, really enjoyed this segment. This is actually our second time taking some more shots to get this right for you guys. Hey, hit that like, hit like and subscribe, hit that bell so that you can go ahead and make sure that you don't miss any episodes. Join me in the next episode as we continue this lighting series. I told y'all I'm throwing everything out to see what we can do with just one stroke. We've tried... The last episode, if you missed it, we used three light, we used three, a three light setup, but we even had great images just with just the one light. So come on back because we got, because we're getting ready to do some things again with gels and everything else. So don't miss it. Don't miss it. Get a friend, tell them about it. Somewhere in America, Will Moore. <laughs> Other than that, guys, hey, thank God for my model here, Justin, who is just bigger than me now. And I mean, he's fantastic. God bless you guys. As I always say, if you can't say anything nice to anybody or do anything nice for anybody, do what? Stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. God bless you. I'll talk with you later. Bye.